Saudi Arabia is really busy building big things, like the Oxagon, Trajana, and the Line. After stopping work on the Jeddah Tower for over five years, they are thinking of starting it again. But why? What's different now? And why is Dubai planning to build something even taller? Find out with Superstructures. The Jeddah Tower is a groundbreaking project aimed to be the world's first structure to stand taller than one kilometer. Saudi Arabia's plan is to outdo the reigning champion, the Burj Khalifa, which has been the world's tallest building for over 10 years. If all goes as planned, the Jeddah Tower could exceed the current record by a whopping 180 meters, although the exact height remains a well-kept secret. Early interviews with the architect suggest the Jeddah Tower could be as tall as 1,600 meters, potentially doubling the current record. However, concerns arose about its feasibility after soil testing. Today, the exact height remains uncertain and will likely remain so until construction is complete. Once finished, the tower will host luxury residences, restaurants, offices, a Four Seasons Hotel, and the world's highest observation deck. The aim is to put Jeddah on the world map and replicate the economic success Dubai has seen with the Burj Khalifa. Going back a few years, designing the world's first one-kilometer tall building was a formidable challenge. A design competition was held, and American architect Adrian Smith, known for designing the Burj Khalifa and various other super-tall skyscrapers worldwide, emerged as the winner. His impressive portfolio speaks for itself. Once the design was settled, the construction contract was granted to Bin Laden Group, a Saudi construction company, with a contract worth 1.2 billion USD to initiate the groundwork for the Jeddah Tower. The majority of funding for the project came from Kingdom Holding Co., led by Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. In 2013, construction commenced after more than five years of preparation and bidding. Progress on the site went well in the following years, and by 2017, the main structure had reached a height of 252 meters. Foundation and piling work were also reported as fully accomplished, marking a significant milestone with the project being approximately one-third complete. Nevertheless, in the same year, the owner of Kingdom Holding Co. and the chairman of Saudi bin Laden were both apprehended as part of the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge, a series of widespread detentions in the country targeting influential princes, government officials, and business figures. Unlike projects like Neom and The Line, funded by the country's sovereign wealth fund, the Jeddah Tower is a private venture, relying heavily on the financial support of a small group of individuals. The arrest of these key figures had a detrimental impact on the entire project. The situation took a turn for the worse in early 2018 when labor disputes with a contractor led to a complete halt in all structural work on the project. The subsequent onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 further dashed hopes of construction resuming. However, just last December, after more than five years of complete silence, it was announced that construction on the Jeddah Tower would finally recommence. The developer of the project has recently begun the process of searching for a new contractor to replace the Bin Laden Group. Various companies from Saudi Arabia, China, Korea, and Europe have received invitations to submit their bids for the contract. These invited companies have been granted a three-month period to prepare their proposals, indicating that a new contractor will likely be chosen by the end of this year at the earliest. While the exact reason for restarting the project remains unclear, we can make some informed speculations based on the available information and the current sequence of events. Firstly, as the world is slowly getting better from the effects of COVID-19, the rules and restrictions have become less strict. Before from 2020 to 2022, it was impossible to resume the project due to these restrictions. Now with more relaxed rules, construction teams can work with full-sized groups on the site once again. Another reason could be the country's reputation. The Jeddah Tower is meant to be Saudi Arabia's response to Dubai's Burj Khalifa. It's an amazing engineering project that would make Saudi Arabia famous for having the tallest building in the world. Leaving the Jeddah Tower project indefinitely was not an option for Saudi Arabia because it would have been a bad image for the country. One more reason for starting the project again is the Saudi Vision 2030, led by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Even though the government is not building the Jeddah Tower, their goals are similar. It includes creating many jobs and making Saudi Arabia a prominent global business and cultural leader. If the tower's construction goes well and doesn't get delayed, it might be finished by the start of the next decade. 
The Jeddah Tower is only one part of the Jeddah Economic City, a much larger project. This project aims to make the port city of Jeddah a prominent place. It's strategically located by the Red Sea and close to the King Abdulaziz International Airport. The city will cover an area of 5.2 square kilometers and might cost around $20 billion, with much of the money coming from private investors and loans from Saudi banks. In the middle of the city, you'll find the Jeddah Tower, a massive skyscraper that symbolizes Saudi Arabia's engineering and economic strengths. Currently, the first phase of the Jeddah Economic City is progressing well. Reports suggest that road construction and landscaping are nearly done. Despite the issues around Prince Alweed bin Talal, the project's main backer. Unlike the delays faced by the Jeddah Tower, this larger project is moving smoothly. Once the basic infrastructure is ready, they can start leasing land to different developers and companies for their projects. The first phase alone is expected to generate around 30,000 jobs. Once the Jeddah Economic City is finished, it will boast a striking skyline with over 200 mixed-use skyscrapers surrounding the central Jeddah Tower. The city will be divided into three key sectors, a residential area, a financial district, and a contemporary recreation of Al-Balat, which is Jeddah's historic district. This massive project is set to become a significant economic, religious, and educational center for the country, akin to what Dubai represents for the UAE further establishing Saudi Arabia as a formidable global player. With all the recent developments surrounding the Jeddah Tower, the question arises, what does constructing the world's tallest skyscraper mean for the rest of the world? Firstly, Dubai, the neighboring city, might not be thrilled about losing the title of having the world's tallest building, a record they've held for 14 years thanks to the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa has played a significant role in transforming Dubai into a thriving tourist and economic center. So losing the title to a neighboring country isn't the most ideal scenario for them. Moreover, Dubai also faces the possibility of losing the race to construct the world's first kilometer-high structure, which was their plan with the Dubai Creek Tower. Nevertheless, a slight technicality complicates this competition. It's important to note that the Dubai Creek Tower is not classified as a skyscraper because less than 50% of its height is habitable. Instead, it's considered a supported tower. While it would still be the tallest structure ever built upon completion, the title of the tallest building would likely go to Saudi Arabia. Much like the Jeddah Tower, this project faced a period of abandonment due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Interestingly, just as Saudi Arabia announced the resumption of their construction, Dubai also revealed plans to redesign their tower's concept, hinting at the possibility of resuming construction in the near future. Dubai had put the Creek Tower project on hold for several years, and it's intriguing that as soon as the Jeddah Tower resumed construction, Dubai decided to do the same. From the beginning, the concept behind the Creek Tower was to surpass the height of the Jeddah Tower, even when it initially began construction seven years ago. When the Jeddah Tower stopped construction in 2017, Dubai also announced a delay in their project. Another potential consequence of both the Jeddah and Dubai Creek Towers is the growing competition to construct ever taller buildings. If one of these two towers is completed, it's likely that the other will aim to build something even taller. And if not, there's probably someone elsewhere in the world already contemplating how to construct something even more towering. Who knows? Perhaps in a few decades, a one-kilometer tall building won't be as awe-inspiring as it seems today. What are your thoughts on the Jeddah Tower? Do you believe it will finally be finished this time? Share your opinions on the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Superstructures for more captivating content. See you in the next video!